I knew that was awesome. I just literally sight casted him. Sight casted a red. What's up, folks? Just got back from Galveston. Had a really good time. While I was on that trip, I went out on a deep sea trip, and you're gonna see a video of that come out later. But this particular video is gonna be of a place that I saw while I was on my way out to that deep sea trip. I was scoping out these areas with all these flats. I could tell there was a bunch of drains and I'm thinking, man, there's gotta be flounder, there's gotta be redfish. And if there's those, we know there's gonna be trout there as well. So let's see if we can go get a slam. Stay tuned. First time putting in here, over here at the Swan Lake access in Freeport. Surfside, kind of in between, not really sure exactly. The city, it's either Surfside or Freeport. But, well, I see I left my Lawrence cover on my screen. It's going to be kind of hard to see anything. All right, let's get this guy in the water and go, get, go catch some fish. Something there. Flounder? Yep, sure is. Dad going good one too. Dad going good one too. I don't think I have any, any way to keep fish. We all think about that, guys. There's got to be something right there. A little trouty poo. No, get out of that. Stinking bird always trying to steal you dang horse. Get, get out of that. It's not something you see bass fishing very often. <laughs> or ever. Oh wait, that's because I'm not bass fishing. It's actually a perfect time to be fishing these areas too because right now the tide's dropping so all that bait that has pushed up into the shallows for safety is being forced back down into the drain. What of a guy, a little flounder. Kind of feels like a flounder. Yep, little flounder. Let's net him so he doesn't freak completely out. And he come right on. Not a bad little guy there. That's another flounder. Yep, sure is. Pretty little flounder. Little bitty little trout. being courteous absolutely insane the guy literally idled down just to pass me
Is this a red? Yep, that's a red. No, that's just a big old, that's a big flounder. I'll say big. Good keeper. If I was keeping fish, which I'm not today. I mean, these are just all flounder spots. When you see these little openings like this, opening, just a little ditch up inside the grass line, or a little cut, anything. I mean, another good flounder. What do y'all think about that, guys? That's another beautiful one. Another just absolute beautiful one. Look at that beautiful thing. Sir, Well, there's my slam as far as keepers. I already had the trout, but that makes it a slam. What did y'all think about that GoPro? Another red. That's a flounder, that's the biggest flounder I've ever hooked in my life. Not so sure that it's not a flounder. No, that's a red. It's gotta be. <laughs> Just a little guy. Just a little fun guy. What do y'all think about him? Oh, a little pretty little two spotter. Pretty little guy. A little trout poos hanging out there this time. Little trouty poo. Nice little fish there. And another one. I knew that was awesome. I just literally sight casted him. Sight casted a red. Wow. 
Always wanted to do that. Sight casted. First one ran from it. How fun is that? That's insane. I just sight casted that thing. Seen him cruising up and down the bank. Pitched it out in front of him. Wow. No big deal. Just, you know, slot red. All right, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed that. I know I sure did. I um, wasn't expecting to go out and get a Texas slam on the first time trying a new spot, but hey, sometimes your eyes don't lie to you. I knew whenever I was looking at that spot when I was boating past it that it had to hold all three, and what do you know? So stay tuned for more videos because I got another one coming from this exact same spot.